Hi there, and thanks for checking out this video. I'm John from Tennis Companion, and today we're doing an in-depth review and playtest of the Vavala Pure Drive 2021. Before we get started, I did want to let you know that this is not a sponsored video. I haven't been paid by Babala or anyone else to discuss this frame. With that said, let's get started with the Pure Drive specs so you know exactly what you're getting with this racket. Babala first introduced the Pure Drive in 1994, and in September 2020 they launched its 10th generation, which retains its high power and spin-friendly characteristics. The Pure Drive comes in your standard length of 27 inches, with a mid-range head size of 100 square inches in an open 16 by 19 string pattern. The racket's unstrung weight is quoted at 10.6 ounces or 300 grams, and the racket I have on hand weighs 10.8 ounces or 307 grams, which is a sizable variance, but to be fair, it's within the range of the expectation they set directly on the frame, which is plus or minus 7 grams. For its strung weight, you can add 18 or so grams depending on your string of choice. Plus, you'll find its swing weight coming in at 290. The Pure Drive has a 7-point headlight balance at 32 centimeters unstrung, which drops to 4 points headlight at 33 centimeters with strings installed. For its stiffness, the Pure Drive has a high-end RA rating of 72. Finally, the racket has a variable with beam that measures 23 millimeters at the throat, 26 millimeters at 3 and 9 o'clock on the racket's head, and 23 millimeters at the top. As usual, if you're looking to dive deeper on any of these specs, I'd encourage you to check out my guides on these topics, which I've linked in the video's description. For the 2021 version, Babylon makes a few small refinements to the racket's tech, but for the most part, it remains relatively consistent with the prior 2018 model. However, before jumping in, Keep in mind that while it's useful to learn about the intentions behind the tech, what really matters is how a racket feels. So I'd encourage you to try or demo a racket before buying, if possible, to form your own opinions. The Pure Drive introduces their HTR, or High Torsional Rigidity System, which optimizes the graphite layup in the frame's hoop to improve stability, energy return, and power. Next up, the frame offers SWX Pure Feel, a refinement on the prior generation's Cortex Pure Feel technology through the shaft of the racket, to reduce vibration for a dampened feel and a unique sound at impact. Babala retains the Pure Drive's elliptical geometry for a stiffer or more rigid frame that reduces twisting and bending, resulting in more power. Last but not least, its FSI power technology combines an open 16x19 string pattern with diamond or hexagon shaped grommets for greater string movement and spin, a larger sweet spot, and enhanced power. I've always enjoyed the Pure Drive style, and as you'd expect, Babylon maintains the frame's blue cosmetic. However, instead of a lighter blue from the prior generation, it's now two shades of metallic blue and a deep dark blue instead of black. You'll also find a few touches of silver highlights throughout, resulting in a frame that's not too flashy or understated. The recommended tension range for the Babala Pure Drive 2021 is 50 to 59 pounds, or 23 to 27 kilograms. For my playtest, I strung with 1.3 millimeter or 16 gauge Babala RPM Blast at 52 pounds, or 23.6 kilograms, which is a low-powered polyester that delivers excellent spin, and is a nice pair to help manage the frame's higher power for a more balanced hitting experience. Players looking for a bit of added comfort without giving up too much control might consider a polyester and a multi-filament hybrid, or even a control-oriented multi-filament. For reference, Babala recommends stringing this frame with their RPM Power and Excel strings. Now that you know exactly what to expect from the Pure Drive specs and technologies, let's jump into my playtest and review. Before we jump in, here are a few playtest notes that you might find useful when considering my thoughts and opinions on this racket. On ground strokes, the Pure Drive is a powerhouse. Even with a stiff poly like RPM Blast, it delivers excellent pace, and it's well suited for baseline players. 
It's worth noting that if you use a more traditional Eastern grip, you may find the power overbearing relative to those using a semi-Western or Western grip. With a 100 square inch head size and open 16 by 19 string pattern, topspin comes easily, and it's one of the frame's highlights, which pairs well with its extra power to help players maintain control. Regarding feel, the Pure Drive has a stable and crisp response, which is in part a function of its higher R rate or stiffness rating of 71. As a result, it does lack comfort, but I'd argue it outperforms in this area relative to what the rating suggests, and highlights that players shouldn't take stiffness at face value without full consideration of all specs, materials, and strings. At the net, the Pure Drive offers plenty of margin for error, but it's not the racket's strongest area of performance, and its power can be tricky to control at times. However, with that said, I do find the racket to be sufficiently stable, and you'll have plenty of power on tap for quick replies and confident putaways. Overall, the frame works well at net, but if your game places a strong emphasis on precision volleys, and you're looking for maximum finesse, then you will likely be disappointed by what the Pure Drive has to offer. On serves, the Pure Drive is excellent. It delivers exceptional power and plenty of spin, which I think will please many players who are looking to turn things up in this department. However, if you're more inclined to emphasize placement, and you like to serve in volley, then you'll likely find the frame's raw power and net performance to be lacking relative to what you get from a control-oriented frame. Hitting returns, I found the Pure Drive to be quite good. The frame is plenty maneuverable and stable enough to manage extra pace, while offering ample spin and excellent response when tightening up your stroke. At times, its power can catch you a little off guard, especially when fielding a heavier serve, so that may take some players a bit to get used to, but generally, I thought the Pure Drive was solid in this area. Overall, the 2021 Pure Drive maintains its reputation as a high-powered, spin-friendly racket that's relatively easy to use. It's well-suited for experienced beginners who are transitioning to intermediate, all the way through advanced players who enjoy hitting a heavier ball. However, all-court players who demand precision and control or those who are prioritizing comfort in their search for a new racket will likely want to skip this frame. The Pure Drive and Arrow are two popular models from Babylon, both of which are excellent frames with many similarities, but there are a few key distinctions. For starters, let's do a quick spec comparison. As you can see, they're very similar rackets on paper, with nuanced variation in swing weight and stiffness. However, on the court, their differences quickly emerge. First and foremost, the Pure Drive offers an extra notch on the power spectrum, while the Pure Arrow delivers greater spin. We're not talking substantial differences, but these characteristics are easy enough to discern between the two. Beyond that, here are a few other areas where I give a slight edge to one frame over the other in terms of performance. Overall, if you're looking for a high-powered frame with excellent topspin, then both are terrific options worth considering, and I'd encourage a side-by-side -side demo. If you'd like to learn more about the Babylon Pure Drive, be sure to check out my full write-up which I've linked in the video's description. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up. Of course, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. And if you'd like to join me for future videos, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, I'll see you in the next video.